Hey everyone, how's it going today? Welcome back to another update. So we have some relatively great news today to really share, which is the fact that Congress has now actually officially just approved of a brand new $1.5 trillion bill. Now, this is also maybe a little bit of a heads up is, is about when it comes to this bill. The great news is we obviously finally have something approved. The just general news to share is a little bit of a heads up is, is that there are some things in this package or this bill that that maybe people really do care about and there are some things that actually some people maybe don't really care about but I think at the end of the day it is still actually very relatively important uh, because it does again everything in the economy is very very tied together and connected so today I really just want to talk about what's exactly the background story to this bill what's exactly in this what is it about and then basically what this actually means for everything related to the thing that we all hopefully care about which is stimulus programs meant to put money inside of our pockets and everything else that's important. So we're gonna get right to it. But as always, real fast, before we begin, as always, same story, 10 seconds. Consider smashing the like button if you guys hopefully enjoy videos like this. Consider subscribing, hitting the bell for videos similar like this. Or you guys can always watch to the end and decide from there. But hopefully, you know, and it is always greatly appreciated. And as always, feel free to comment any questions, maybe just personal thoughts also, maybe by the end or at any point about what you think about what's been going on right now because I think it is a very interesting topic to maybe hear other thoughts so that being said let's get this video started So the story to what's really happening is, is that as some of you guys know from the last update, which I'll put at the very, very end screen because today technically builds up on it, is that right now the story is that inside of Congress, they are working on several programs across just a whole bunch of different topics. And then the really, really great news is, is that on Wednesday, if you're watching this on release date, so the most recent Wednesday, um, the House had basically officially now approved of a brand new fourth spending bill. And then on Thursday, it was approved inside of the Senate. So with all of this now, what this means is, is that now there is a brand new stimulus thing related bill that has now officially been approved in its entirety inside of Congress and is now pretty much on the road to gain approval on President Biden's desk. So in terms of what this bill is, is that essentially one of or a couple of the things that they were working on, one of which is that they really wanted to try to work on creating a spending bill in order to keep the government running. So the story is that they recently now have officially approved inside of the entirety of Congress and the House and the Senate a $1.5 trillion stimulus package spending bill. So now they can keep the government funded and because this bill is actually very particularly large if you you know just notice by the dollar value it means that they're now able to keep the government running all the way until the end of September 2022 buying us essentially a little bit over six months um, not just to keep the government running but also now money to actually physically do programs in general I know another very, very significant thing about this is, is that within this package, they also did approve, so a, a, like another additional bill, they also did approve another $13.6 billion worth of money, but this one admittedly is specifically going to help aid with everything that's going on now with the Russia and Ukraine situation. And so the story and significance to all of this is, is that now that they officially have this bill going through and it is very very much expected that president biden is going to sign well i mean unless you know maybe at the last minute he decides to pick up his pen and change course and but i mean the probability i think at this point you know just uh, but the probability at this point is that it's pretty much very likely if you're watching this on release or especially if you're watching this into the future is that he probably has already officially signed it which essentially means that congress and the government now officially has the money to continue running now the significant about this also is that what this also means is is that they also have money to physically now attempt 
Again, the keyword is attempt. We don't know what's going to happen, but they actually have the physical money now to try to do programs going forward into the future. Because keep in mind is that when it just comes to doing just programs in general, there's several steps, technically several steps and procedures that they have to go through. And one of which is that they have to try to actually physically get the money so that they can use it. And then they have to try to approve the programs, which is what the money is used for. So because of what's been going on, the great news is, is that now they actually have the physical money that's sitting there. But what they have to decide now is what they actually physically want to actually physically do with that money and whether they decide to spend it on things like checks programs or they want to you know their own personal agenda or to help foreign countries that's kind of their own individual decision that we have to see and the other big significance and this is the part that I know is very, very highly debated, which is really about the Ukraine-Russia situation, because within this, within, so another, another, another bill that they did, um, is that they did also officially approve aid money to help with the Ukraine and Russia situation. And the significance about this is, is that if you are someone that really, really cares about, you know, the Ukraine-Russia situation, then this is really, really great news, because it means that they're finally able to send money to hopefully help help with that situation. If you're someone that maybe is a little bit more indifferent or just, you know, have a little bit of different views and as always feel free to comment because it is a very very mixed opinion. There are a lot of people that feel maybe they should be using this money and trying to focus on helping the American people before they help a lot of the other foreign nations and countries. However, we did talk a little bit about this in a lot of the other updates about how even though yes, we are helping a lot of other countries. There is actually a lot of personal incentives in trying to do this, even for ourselves. Because the biggest benefit to what's going on is, is that if they don't support, or if they don't send the money over to the Russia-Ukraine, you know, to help out with the Russia-Ukraine situation, because of a lot of the political conflict right now, and there's a lot of fear, you guys may have already read about things such as like World War III, having a lot of international countries now really get together. That's the reason why this is actually very, very important because if they don't support the situation, there is a chance that a lot of the resources, the oil, the gas, the goods, even just like just the friendly relationships that we have with a lot of the countries, it's going to potentially be put on the line. And as some people know is, is that the worst case scenario is really about escalating the war and war is very, very expensive. So when you're living through a time when fi finances are already very, very difficult, there's a reason why they're doing this is, is that by trying to spend money, even though they're helping a foreign country, the hope is maybe if it can do things like prevent war, prevent foreign conflict, then maybe long term, it can actually maybe save or protect them from having to spend even more money. It's a little bit like when you try to invest in things like insurance, you know, you don't know if you're going to need it, but it's nice to sometimes have just as a kind of in case situation. But the big idea and the significance of all of this is, is that now that they've officially approved this spending bill and they've also officially approved of the aid for, you know, the Ukraine Russia situation, it means that first off, they finally have money to work with. And second of all, it also means they can now go back to the next steps, which is the part that we really particularly care about now, which is all about things related to just fourth stimulus social programs meant to put money inside of our pockets. So whether this is in checks, unemployment, social security boosts, SNAP benefits, EBT, rent assistance, um, all of that stuff, just child tax credit, of course, family relief, tax credit, tax benefits, everything related to that world, and hopefully even more. Now, I do want to say maybe just one maybe not so not so good news about this package, and I guess this is the part to really share, is that even though they were able to approve the spending bill and a lot of the other stuff that we just talked about, one of the things that actually sadly did not make it inside of this bill is specifically about aid money but specifically pandemic aid money. And what really ended up happening is that originally, what they wanted to do is, is that they attempted, the keyword is they attempted and tried to put inside um, a certain amount, I believe specifically they were trying to aim for about $15.6 billion in aid money to try to help out with everything related to the pandemic. What really ended up happening is, is that at the very, very last minute, 
as typical with a lot of the stuff that happens in Congress because they ended up having a little bit of a, a, a clash and wanting to try to see what they could do you know, as best as they can to get things through. What really ended up happening is that a part of the package, specifically this like $15.6 billion worth of aid, they actually ended up having to drop it outside of the package. So because of this reason, it means that there's a little bit less money dedicated to that part that we originally wished, or many of us at least, again, it's, it's always subjective, but we try, we try our best to be objective. Um, that, but certainly it's fair to say many people wish could have been kept inside of the package. But because it was not included in the package, the next goal, and I guess this is the part about what's next, you know, going forward from here, is that what Chuck Schumer has also officially said when he finally approved it inside of the Senate is that the next steps is, is that now they want to try to work together to approve more aid money specifically now for things related to like everything related to the pandemic. So things like you know, potential stimulus programs, whether this is in child, again, child tax credit, everything that we just literally, literally just named out, that's one of the goals that they really hope to try to now move on to, to focus next. The only one thing maybe important to notice is that because there is still a little bit of a, a you know, a situation between like the mansion, they're back to negotiating, you know, we did make other updates, I'll put it at the end screen, but because there is still a lot of heated debate about what's happening, what is believed to be, you know, to likely happen next is, is that they're going to be working on the new spending bill. However, because of the elections that are potentially coming out, there is even more urgency and need now to try to approve programs as soon as they possibly can, not just for their image reasons, but also because if they don't end up doing this, then it is potentially probable that if something pops up in the elections and let's say the power changes. So let's say, for example, they now lose the house. Um, then what it means is, is that it's going to be even more difficult than ever now to be able to now approve any programs in general. So what this means is, is that there's a higher probability now and more sense of urgency to do programs. But what this also means is, is that the programs that we are likely expected to see may not be actually particularly big now. They're probably going to be much more skinny bills, um, skinny sized bills. And that may not always necessarily be a bad thing because again, keep in mind parts of the second stimulus package was also a skinny bill. And I think most importantly at the end of the day, probably what most of us really care about is not necessarily the size of the bill, but more about what's actually physically inside. So essentially the quality of the bill. Of course, the more money, you know, it's always nicer to have more money because it means we have a lot more things to work with, but that's really the big situation that's really happening over there right now. So beyond this is, is that that's what I really just wanted to share in today's update. So if you guys made it this far, huge thanks for maybe watching all the way through, maybe comment down below your personal opinions about this. The big idea is that we just have to see now what they do with the money. We have to see their plans going forward from here, what the actual new skinny bills end up looking like, and then everything that ends up happening there. But of course, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, stay safe, stay well. Remember to smash the like button if you guys hopefully enjoyed this. Consider subscribing as we get more information. And as always, feel free to comment any questions, thoughts about anything. So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, stay safe, stay well. Happy Friday if you're watching this on release date. Have a great day, blessed weekend, and I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much again.